Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into photography, video making, tech gear, reviews and drones, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. Almost two years ago I came out with a video that became very fast, one of my most viral videos on the channel and it was just me sitting in a park talking about this new drone on the market that was the Anafi from uh, the French drone maker company uh, Parrot. It came out on the market, it was a blast because it had all these new features, it was super light and it was appreciated by many people. Lots of things have changed in the last two years, I would like to dive deep into it. Let's roll the intro first and let's get back to it. On July the 19th of last year, we read an article on The Verge website stating that Parrot was about to exit the toy drone market. It quotes, the French drone, make, drone maker shifts away from the consumer sales, which are dominated by DJI, by three quarters of the global sales. So no more competition with DJI. No Mambo swing drones are in stock anymore and will not be produced. The company will shift to an end-to-end -end drone group and will shift focus from business to consumer drone solution. We've seen that with the Anafi Thermal already and uh, they're also dealing with the US military uh, deal, uh, probably producing spy drones or stuff like that, I read online. They also state that Parrot has stopped the production and development of any drone but the Anafi and its variation. That brings me to a question, will we see a new version of the Anafi? We already seen a development with the Anafi FPV, which is the same body that the Anafi Thermal uh, mounts, uh, it's exactly the same drone than the Anafi, but it's slightly, uh, the body is slightly shorter and it's less flimsy. There's lots of videos online comparing the two of them and uh, you can see that the body is more sturdy and firm compared to the first version of the Anafi that was really flimsy and it felt a bit plasticky even though it I think it was a great drone. At the beginning of this month we had a new firmware update by Parrot and this was fixing flight plan and return home behavior. That makes me think that probably Parrot is not giving up and like customer service is still ongoing and I mean this, the, the, the idea of having a new Anafi on the market is tempting because when they came out, it was it was a it was the first drone that was facing up. It was light. It was like extremely easy to fly, it, and it was an alternative to DJI. Things have changed a lot because I mean, on the market we have new competitor like Skydio and Hotel uh, with their Evo, the Evo Two already, and uh, things are getting interesting. And having uh, uh, having Parrot as another uh, competitor on the market makes everything more interesting. So it's almost two years since the Anafi was announced and got in the market. And I think it's time for Pyro to make a move in that uh, sense. I really hope that an Anafi version three will come, maybe using the same body of the FPV, but with improved specs on the camera, on the life duration, you know, all the stuff that people require now, like sensors on side and stuff like that. I don't think that Parrot would need a lot of effort to come on the market with a drone like that. I think it will be stimulating and I personally would love to try it. I mean, it's competition and competition is only good for the market and in the end, it's good for us as users. Smash the like button guys if you like the video, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next video.